Hey guys, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's jump right in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, there we go. So again, if you're new here, I do say my prayer at the beginning of every single message to make sure I'm protected and covered. Your messages are coming from the sa from a safe place, which is from God, of course, and to also keep you guys safe and protected. All right? So just in case you're wondering, that's why. Oh, that's night over to us. That's awesome. <laughs> in the making, technology is beautiful, I tell you. Yeah, it's very awesome and nice at driving me nuts. Because look at this phone is okay. My other phone is okay. But this one, I don't know. Once it got updated, that was it. It just stopped working properly. All right, let's see what's going on. What messages do you have for your divine feminines? Focus, focus. I hate that I made you think that the trust we have was broken. So, like I'm always saying, these divine masculines are realizing their fault. They're realizing the things that they did that hurt you, that caused you distress, that broke your pretty little heart. <laughs> and one of the biggest one is trust. So they feel like you have lost trust in them. And, and the reason why this is happening, whoever the feminines are for these masculines, you're no longer focused on them. You're no longer chasing after them. You're no longer wanting them to call you. You're no longer wanting them to text you. You don't even care if you see them anymore. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Just that you are releasing these things. Oh, a number for you guys, 4224. So look that up, guys, 4224. Divine feminines, you're really healing whoever you are here. You're really not focused on not having somebody around you. You're really at peace with yourself. It's like whatever happens, happens. That's what's in your mind right now. Whatever happened, happened. And your masculines are sensing this change. You have very soon. Very soon. So whatever changes these divine masculines are, are going to make, because they're definitely going to make some changes, it's going to happen very soon. Properly. I hate that I let you down and I feel so bad about it. You see, it's the same thing that came from there. So now they feel like they have let you down. Now they feel like, like, uh, listen, I'm the worst person to, to my divine feminine. When I was there, I should have been loving them. I should have been caring for them. I should have been protecting them. And I allowed people to take advantage of them. I allowed people to look down on them. I didn't say anything when people were talking about them. Yeah, I kept my big mouth shut. So it's like now, that's why this strong word is here, I hate. Because they realized that most of the things that happened in the past was their fault. It was their fault. Let's get away together. So they do want to see you. They do want to see you. They do want to spend some time with you here. Some of you guys may be spending some time together because like I'm always saying, this energy is definitely coming. So they're going to take some action. They're going to take that step. I am planning our future. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely going to be better. It's definitely going to be better than, um, than how you guys met each other before. You know, when they weren't taking up for you, when they allowed others to say anything they wanted to say about you because they were running, because they were hiding. So instead of running away from the fact that they do love you, from the fact that, of course, I love this person, they're now like ready to stand up. I want things to be the way they were when we first met. <laughs> so you see, they're going back to past times. They're going back to the very beginning. When you two were together, when you two were so in love, When they understood that the feelings that they were having, it was precious. It was very, very precious. 
Yes, I love you. See that? So now they want to tell you how they truly feel. Now they want to express that 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 love. Because the energy I'm getting it, 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 from these divine masks, it's it's like coming from the past. It's just like I was saying. They ignored when people were talking down to you. They ignored when people were laughing at you because you're chasing somebody. And the impression that they gave off was like, this person's chasing me, but I don't want them. When in fact, they were just running because of their fears. So they never really like showed people, hey, this is the one for me. This is the person I love. This is the person I want to be with. And now they are so hurt. They're so hurt that they did that. Because now that their eyes are open, they're awakened, they're seeing all their mistakes. And that's one of the biggest things that they're sorry about, the way things happened in the past. I am praying to God for guidance because like, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? It's very hard when you realize that you've made some sort of mistake and it's like you want to fix it, but you can't. And this is exactly what's happening with them. They want to fix. They want to fix this. But they don't know how. They don't know what to do. Maybe that's why they're just going to come and say, you know what? Let's be together. Let's get away together here. I love you again. I love you so much. I can't look into your eyes. <sighs> So now they're accepting the feelings that they have for you. Now they're accepting it. But at the same time, in the back of their mind, all those memories of their past actions is still haunting them. And that's why forgiveness is so important. Because them knowing that you have forgiven them is what's going to set them free. Is what is going to allow them to hold their head up and look at you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I tell you, these messages, man, they don't lie ever because my God is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Look at that. Look at what I just said. Don't tell me you can't forgive me because nobody's perfect. This is exactly what they're looking for that forgiveness, like how to bring back love in your connection. Yes, marriage. Fix yourself, camera, and let the people see the good news. Marriage. That's their intention now. Because, of course, your divine masculines, like I said, even though now they're awakened, right? <laughs> Virtuous woman. <laughs> These divine masculines are awakened and they're seeing their mistakes. They're seeing their mistakes. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. In the make, yeah, they need to take some some yelling at, you know, and behave themselves. <laughs> wow, I just love this. Give me some more. I want more. Give me some more. You see, that's the problem with us. When we get a little, we still want more. But yeah, I want more. Yes, yes, that's it. Divine masculine. Of course, that is definitely it. That is definitely it. They're seeing their past mistakes. And they're trying to figure things out because they want to come back around you. But again, in regards to this um, forgiveness energy, they want to know that you've forgiven them. Maybe some of them will even ask you, have you forgiven me? Because now that those scales have fallen from their eyes, now they can see the truth. Your divine masculines, they say they're planning your future. That's where they're headed. And they're not joking. They're not joking at all. Only you, baby. Only you. Only you. Before, it wasn't only you. Before, it was only you, but they never wanted to admit it. Before, it was, it was only you, but whatever third party was in the mix, they allowed those third parties to take over their feelings. But now, no, no, not anymore. Not anymore. I need more time. You always need more time. You always need more time. But no worries. We're going to give it to you. We're going to give you a little more time. 
yeah you still need a little more time take it now look at that i am here and they're coming for you divine feminines they're coming for you yep i am so regretful of the choices that i made yep they regret it i tell you they are so sorry for all the hurt that they caused you so sorry and that apology is coming in they're gonna come to you they're gonna tell you everything that they want to say you're the one for me yeah you're the one you're the one for me my dreams of you are so sexy yeah they're dreaming about you and all that stuff if they were with you they wouldn't have to be dreaming about you you know but everybody has to learn from their lesson and they are learning trust me forgive me again forgive me so i can look at you oh my lord i told you that's why they can't where, where did it say that's why they can't hold their head up yeah I love you so much I can't look into your eyes because they're realizing all the mistakes they made, how they made you sad, how they made you cry. And it's like they can't look at you. So now they're telling you directly, forgive me so I can look at you. I know you love me. Yeah, now they're figuring it out. Now they're figuring out what true love really is. And that's why they can now tell you themselves. That's why they can now tell you themselves because they themselves have also figured out what true love is. Ding, ding, I heard my ding. I heard my, yep, that's confirmation. That is confirmation. This person, whoever they are, they're coming towards you and they're coming in pretty soon. And they got something they want to say to you. They got something they want to say to you. This is a, a direct apology, even though I'm the, excuse me i'm the one relaying it but they're gonna apologize they're gonna apologize they're so sorry and they re regret it they regret the choices they made in the past the same choices that i was mentioning before allowing others to look down upon you turning your, their back on you when you needed that help and that support you know to not seem like a crazy person like you're the one chasing them and they don't want you that energy that they give off yeah they're sorry they didn't stand up and say something. They're sorry that they allowed others to look down on you. That's why they want that forgiveness. Forgiveness is not for us, Divine Feminine. It's for them. Once we release the situation, once we forgive them, it's also, it, it also helps to heal our heart as well. And it will set them free. They just want to feel that forgiveness. So, my dear friends. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at the next message. Later. <laughs>